Hello and welcome back to Caves of Cud. We are we are seeing the death throes of uh, exploration on on the salt. Oh, we have another GNU. I hope they don't hate me because I I know I'm not not loved by GNUs anymore. I think they're indifferent to me, maybe. Um, where am I? Okay, what kind of reputation do you have? Loved by antelopes, hated by goat folk. Hated by urchins, hated by dogs. Well, honestly, kind of tempting to make enemies to them. We are at negative 100 for antelopes, meaning if I make enemies to this GNU, that will be kind of it. I don't think we'll be on good terms with GNU anymore or antelopes of any kind. Um, but hated by urchins, hated by dogs, hated by gofolk, that's some really good reputation there. So the way we're going to do this is systematically. We're going to dominate one of the GNU and we're going to go ahead and attack one of our brethren. And over the course of much agonizing time spent, why is there always shit in this Puma? Where there is GNU. There seems to always be... Where there's one, there's always the other. It seems to me that the um, legendary GNU has teleport other. Okay, so that's... That's a couple of GNU killed. Now we go ahead and, and wait. We're going to go ahead and wait like 300 turns. Oh no, we don't need to wait that many. Like 35 turns. I don't really know what's going on here. Okay, um... Then we will dominate another critter. Oh, uh, you know what? We'll probably end up dominating this Chitness Puma. Let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, they have Flurry. Let's go ahead and use their Flurry. Why not? Now we wait another 40 turns. We wait in... What? Chitness Puma to the east? God damn. Get out of here, Chitness Puma. We hit the glow pad by accident. And we killed the glow pad by accident. Oh, no. Oh, we hit the freaking GNU. The stupid light animation is supposed to... God damn it. Light manipulation. Your one job is to never miss. Actually, you know the best way to get out of this? Are we still on bad terms? Yes, we are. Uh, is actually just to activate. Doesn't have enough charge. Okay, let's uh, recharge our bracelet. It. We got a lot of use uh, uh, out of this. We activate the bracelet, and it seems to me that once they have, once we have a common enemy, um, we we pretty much are on good terms again. Eh. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and, uh... Oh, I guess it deactivated. And we're going to come over here and we're going to wait through the night. And then hopefully we'll be on good terms again. What was that? Something appeared in front of me for a split second there. Okay, are we on bad terms? No, we're on good terms. Stupid shitness Puma. They really are a problem. Okay, dominate the GNU. Okay, that's one taken care of. Because they don't attack me back, and I guess this is a kind of an exploit. So they don't seem to want to, like, become hostile with me because I am one of their own. Then I can, like, I, if I attack the legendary, I think things would be different. So what we're going to do is we're going to get them down to, like, very badly wounded and then end domination. Let's do, like, one more on them. End domination. And now, as myself, I will deal the killing blow. We are now disliked by antelopes. Yeah, look at that. Negative 320. 
Um, we're now at negative 370 with goat folk. And dogs love us. Perfect. Uh, anything cool here? There's some fresh water. Sure, we'll take some fresh water. Just take all of that. We are bleeding. It's not great, but... Get out of here, Chitness Puma. You created such problems for me. Okay, let's rest. And then leave. A lot of stuff on this screen. Are we okay with snap jaws? No, it's just uh, we had there's a lot of loading there. If only there was a legendary here, that'd be nice. Alas, there is not. Okay. We continue on our merry way. I say merry way. It's more like a murderous way, you know? We're, uh, we're making, we're, you know, I'm learning, I'm, I'm starting, like, finally starting to figure out how to best use this character. It does involve some exploits, unfortunately. But, like, I think that domination is definitely helping a lot. Especially with those, like, groups. Uh, any any group of, uh, like, one specific character is apparently very easy to deal with with domination. So that's helping a lot. Okay, we're going to go to the center here. But we want to explore the southeast a little bit. Just a little bit. Remember, if there's trash, I also want to rifle through the trash so that we can best discover some secrets and some... But I, I guess the secrets are, like, also good for reputation. Not really, but, like, it's always good to um, have something to trade with someone. There, it's, it's It seems very rare to me that I, uh, if I make friends with someone, I don't have a secret to trade with them, but, like, you know... That's only true if we collect the secrets. I think after this, after we fully explore um, Salt Marsh, I'll go and make friends with the Borokoru. Uh, deja vu, huh? You know? It's it's feeling very uh, similar to the last run in some ways. Honey, weep. We're getting pretty close. We're on the tall end of uh... Ow, we're taking lots of damage here. It's because we got swarmed by swarmers. Swarmers can still do a lot of damage. Snapjaws, even in, you know, even in the mid game, they can do a lot of damage. Also, we are very squishy. I, I have cobalt armor, which is fine, but it's not exactly, uh, you know, not exactly a great protection. In fact, we seem to be only at 5 AV. I wonder why that is. What is... Uh, oh, it's because our leather boots are cracked. We don't even have, like, good boots. And we don't have gloves. I'm really not doing good things for our character in terms of armor. What was that? Is that something important? Yeah, that was a... I think that's a daughter's farmer. And I'm pretty sure if I look at that, then I will get lovesick, which is not great. Legendary glowfish. There we go. That's what we want. We want more of this. More of this, please. I mean, why not, right? 
if we can we should that is like 90 percent of the time not true by the way in almost every single case if we can we should is never true like for instance uh proselytization hey you know what i should take this and actually use it I just need uh, a good cell to shove in it. As soon as we have, uh, as soon as we get our first like blood cell, then that'll be solid. Did we walk by our legendary? Yeah, there they are. Hated by the Naftali tribe, disliked by oozes. Yeah, I mean, let's uh, absolutely kill this lad. Slap, slap, slap. You're now despised by fish. Half tally tribe increased by 195 to the reason that it's good is like hopefully um if there are naftali tribes that have a legendary idol with them i can make friends with the idol um making friends with oozes would be kind of nice okay so we are where are we current location is south so we're we're almost done we're just so close I think we were heading right. There's a lot of slappy sounds now in Cud. If you play as fast as I do, then you're just you're 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 bombarded by a cacophony of slapping and and sloshing. <laughs> it's kind of a lot. Uh I don't know, honey salt. Honey salt. Sounds delicious, honestly. Mmm, that was our 80th recipe. We're well on our way to 100 recipes cooked. Right, we are actually on bad enough terms with fish now that even the docile ones are aggressive, which means that we can no longer just like walk by glowfish. Uh, I don't blame them. We have not been kind to glowfish. We pretty much went out of our way to be enemies to glowfish. Do you think that uh, glow pads and glowfish communicate with each other in some ways? They're always hanging out with each other. Do you think they have like a little community? You know, like, um, uh, some kind of cul-de-sac of, uh, you know, luminescence. Some kind of luminescent cul-de-sac. Ouch. Something threw a grenade at me. Um, do we, we have some witchwood bark. Let's go ahead and eat that. On the off chance there's another one of those. I'm sensing there may be a legendary snapjaw on this uh, zone. Could possibly be. Here's hoping. I guess not. Just a lot of snap jaws. That's it. Okay, uh, let's kill those dawn gliders just for a little bit of extra XP. Those dawn gliders are still giving me 375 XP each. Um, we are in the last three tiles. Last three tiles, three parasangs of the salt marsh. If you couldn't tell, I am a little bit burnt out on this. Just a little bit. Um, it's not that it hasn't been fruitful. It has been fruitful, but it's been a lot of much the same tasks much the same thing over and over again 
Like the true definition of grind, you know? Um, I, I've ta I talked about what grind is in uh, my tutorial series and you know, there's good grind and there's bad grind. I think that grind is totally fine if the task that you're doing is fun. Um, if it's enter entertaining and I mean it is entertaining otherwise I wouldn't do it but it's not entertaining as much as like something else definitely there's other things I'd rather be doing than exploring the marsh um, but you know it's all good we're almost done We are ignoring Snapjaws. Now, ooh, another legendary ape. Yes. What do we got? Loved by apes, disliked by succulents, hated by equins, hated by pariahs. So if we were to kill this ape, first of all, I'm pretty sure we would be on bad terms with apes. Maybe not, but I don't know if they'd be, if I'd be welcome in their holy places. I, we are already not welcome in their holy places. So I'm pretty sure I will be attacked on site if I go to a Barakaro's lair. Um, you know what? I might... Let's just pin this one here. Um, ape. Pariah. Rep. I, I would like to get that pariah reputation for the purposes of uh, an easy location for the slinth. Hey, there's our, uh, there's our glowing glow pad. <laughs> Taco Suprema. Got some nice stuff. Um, we want to go east one. Current location center. We want to go east one and then we want to go north one. Because we're we're very we're very close to being done with this. Oh no, is that our ape? Did I just mess that up? Yeah, that, there's our ape. You know what? Let's just like leave. Put some trash. Yeah, what I'm thinking is I, I might tr go to Arborcore's lair. There's a chance that I can go there without being attacked on site. Um, if that's the case, then I'll go ahead and check it out. And maybe make friends with the Borokoro that might put me on very good terms with apes. And then I can come back and kill this ape for the purposes of getting pariah reputation. And then uh, pariahs are on the table for the slinth. Um, there's no reason that I want pariahs to be on the table for the slinth. Except for the fact that pariah reputation has been offered to me a number of times. Uh, so it's, it's made it, you know pretty accessible we're gonna make another recipe let's do yonder cane again i really want teleport whenever you take avoidable damage there's a 20 to 25 percent chance you teleport to a random space i don't really like that i i want just teleport i'm pretty sure your teleport is an is a potential modifier but i have not been getting lucky with uh with these oh we got some nice garbage nice garbage uh zone love to see it love to see a garbage zone okay we're so close kind of wish i could get a mini map i know the ui there's been extensive work on the ui but i would really love, love to have a, a little mini map of where i am on the overworld map I know that's asking a lot. I really do. And honestly, it's asking a lot for very little benefit. There's very few occasions when you, when it actually matters where you are on the overview map. But occasionally it comes up and it would be nice. Not honestly, genuinely even asking for this as a feature. I'm just like thinking out loud of something I would like to have right now. Okay, so we are in the desert. Um, do we have, did we complete everything? Did we fully explore this, this, the marsh? Pretty sure we did. Pretty sure it's all done now. Uh, 
I think so. I think we are now done. Maybe a little bit more. No, this is Desert Canyon. So now yeah, we're, we're good. All right, we have done it. We are actually freaking done with the marsh. So why don't we go ahead and check out the lair of Aborokoro and see if we die instantly. We can also check out some ruins in uh, this canyon. Don't know if we're on bad terms with Equin. We lost. Of course, it's the canyons. Why wouldn't I be lost? Why would I? Why would I ever not be lost in the canyons? That would be absurd. Dromad caravan, huh? Funny that we get we we find ourselves as soon as the uh, dromad makes itself known. Because like the dromad could actually tell us where 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 to go. What do you have anyway? Well, we could get some gauntlets. We really could use some like armor. Some more armor. Uh. What could we sell for this? We could sell a glow sphere. We don't really need a glow sphere. Sell some copper nuggets. Yeah, what? Yes. Uh, and now we actually have gloves. Which has been, that's been pending for a while. We have not had gloves for that entire time. Now we have 8, eight, eight DV. That's going to help a lot. Okay, um, again, we're heading to Aborokoro's lair. Let's not get lost. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, bud. We getting lost. Oh. Yo, we're on neutral ground with Naftali. That's novel. You know what that means? That means if we could get on neutral terms with goat folk, then, um, oh, yeah, then we could actually explore the jungle. Exploring the jungle could then be viable. I never thought that the day would come when something like that is actually possible, but um, that is actually gonna be really, really good because um, like I say, Oh, no. Oh, they're attacking them. Oh, God. Uh, maybe I was wrong. Okay, I'm leaving the zone. You guys are... Okay, that ape is okay with me. I say he's okay with me. Apes are not really good with me right now. I've killed one too many of their friends. Actually, ape, can you tell me where I am? Nope. But yeah, like, uh, Naftali tribe, they tend to hang out with the legendary robot. Oh, we have a frog. Um, and so, you know, robot rep, which is probably one of the best reputations to gain in the game. Um, is very obtainable if if we are on good terms with Naftali tribe. So good things are happening right now. Besides the fact that this is one of the most underpowered runs I've done, and I say underpowered, I know it's good. It's just that I'm bad at it. Um, I, I, you know, good things are, are, are happening in this run. We're getting very good reputations. And uh, that will eventually lead to like really cool stuff. Like if we could get on on friendly terms with robots, then we could basically explore the ruins with um, total liberty. Like we, we wouldn't have to worry about any risks. In the same way that being friends with Goat Folk and Naftali Tribe kind of makes the jungle really a breeze to explore. Oh God. Okay, um, can we dominate you, friend? Yeah, that didn't work. Uh, I'm not gonna proselytize you. I am so sick and tired of that not working. Instead, let's beguile you. Uh, I'm gonna take some witchwood bark. And I'm also gonna take a love tonic. 
Or salve injector, I suppose. Okay. Didn't expect to find goat folk here for some reason. I don't know why I didn't expect that. Okay, I don't know why I continued exploring when I already found the door for the staircase. There's a lot of uh, torches here. Kind of cool, actually. Gives it a vibe, you know? There is going to be uh, apes here that we're not on good terms with. I love the rock throwing sound effect. We leveled up off of a off of 12 XP and a baboon. Wild. Okay, the first tier we we find nothing but baboons. Second tier we may find ogres or even just apes. Oh, okay. Well, we have Flawless Crystal Coronet. That's nice. I kind of want to just save now. I know that's kind of a cheese, but I do. I'll go ahead and leave that other one there. I will uh, maybe come back for this later. We have some other cool stuff too. Uh, Ganglionic Teleprojector. I think that means we could get ourselves uh, grafted. Amazing. Uh, fidget Cell. We can disassemble that. I, I would love to have found out what that was, but I, I don't I don't care. I don't care to do make you know go to the effort really. Okay, we have apes. Ape is not happy with us. Ape is actually very angry that we have come here. I wonder if that means that Aborokoro will in fact be not cool with us. Aborokoro tends to be okay. Um, they're, they're pretty chill, but maybe they count as an ape in a way, and therefore, uh, they will, they will not also, they will also not welcome us. This is kind of spooky. Well, there's our first o ogre. Um, we could beguile them maybe? Yeah! Beguiled Ogre. That's going to be good. Ogres are pretty tough. Yeah, they're, they're just kind of roaming around stomping on stuff, which is nice. Okay, so we do have a gibbon. Gibbons are kind of a challenge. Oh, we managed to kill them before they uh, multiplied. Okay, I'm not... Oh, there's the staircase. Okay. Things are going well. Things could absolutely change for the worse in a matter of a second. A split second is all it takes to turn, make things really, really nasty. I'm very grateful to have our uh, friend here. We have a small trinket. Biodynamic cell. Hey, amazing. I really kind of just want to leave at this point. Like, I... We don't have to find the ape god at this point. This has been amazing. I am very worried about what we can potentially find. I'm really worried that the ape god is not going to be okay with us. I want to be good with the ape. I want to make right by this. I mean, by all rights, the uh, ape god should not be okay with us. Seeing as we came in and destroyed all of, you know, all of uh, Borokoro's sons and daughters. Oh god, Gibbon. And also, uh, Ogre. We run. And 
and other ogre. Okay, things are not great right now. Jesus Christ. Okay. Um, let's go downstairs. And I'm going to activate hologram brace bracelet. Uh, and I'm also going to... You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to dominate our ogre friend. Did it not work? It didn't work, but they are doing the work for me. 750 XP. We're making great XP right now. I'm really worried things are going to go south. Every single impulse is telling me to go now because this has been very good for us. Can we rest up in domination form? We actually can. And we can now go down here. Let's see. Oh, okay. We're not on good terms with other ogre. We can, uh, hopefully they, they took enough damage that we can kill them. Uh, I don't, it doesn't, oh, injured. Let's, oh, we, we beguile. Can we beguile you? That did not work. Uh, we have sprint. Let's sprint. That hologram saved my butt. <laughs> that hologram absolutely saved me. Famished. We're famished and we also have... Uh, we are inspired again, so let's choose some new things. Honey and acid, sure. Corrosive gas, why not? Okay, um, we could try and dominate that ogre again, wherever they are. Or we could just ignore them. Let's, I'm going to save. I'm sorry again, but really good things have happened and I don't want to lose those things. Okay. So I feel like I sensed a Borokoru. Okay, we want to beguile you. Um... That did not work. Okay, we're going to dominate next. That did not work. He oh, 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 proselytization. Oh, wow. That didn't work. Oh, that's so unlike proselytization. Wow. I, I, wow. It could knock me over with a feather, honestly. Okay, let's uh, throw down a hologram and just run them away. Still hoping to find a Borokoro. Still hoping that they will be on pretty good terms with me. Oh my god. Okay. Can we beguile you, please? Yay! Yay! <laughs> okay. We are descending one more floor. This would probably be a lot easier if I had, uh, hadn't gone and, and done a stupid and made enemies to apes. Okay, that was good. There's our staircase down. I don't remember this being so deep. I really don't remember. I thought that it was a fairly... Um, it was, it was fairly shallow dungeon. Stunned. Cool. We're getting great XP from these ogres. Salt weep. That's fine. Another staircase down. We are in a subterranean cavern. Oh god. Get away from me. There's a Borokor. Are we enemies? Yes, we are. We must flee. Ah! <laughs> we must run. Uh, 
can we recoil? Are we far enough away that we could recoil? Can we go to, uh, let's go to, oh god, none of our stuff has a charge. Let's shove something into, um, eat freehold. Yes. Okay. Well, that was really good, honestly. In, at the end of the day, that was honestly great. Um, got a lot of really good reputation. Got a lot of, uh, I got crystal coronet. Like, come on. That's amazing. I'm pretty sure uh, Beguiling will wear off and in our ogre here will not be friends with us anymore, but oh, we'll worry about that uh, bridge when we cross it. Precinct Navigator. There's some nice stuff here, but I uh, kind of don't want any of it. Uh, I really want to go to Ezra. So actually, I kind of need to just go to Great Gate and then go to... Go to Ezra. And then we'll go, we'll finally buy ourselves a uh, Ezra recoiler so I don't have to keep doing this. That uh, Gate is not very close to Ezra, but we. Ruins nearby. No, not in the river, please. <laughs> Roasted boar? No, thank you. <laughs> there we go. Pretty sure our, uh, our, our, uh, ogre friend is going to contract monochrome. Don't think that really does anything relevant to us, but it is, uh, it is worth noting. <laughs> so now is Ela Ela is the Daughters of Exile. Are we on good terms? Yes, we are. Cool. Um, also, did we make friends with her? Hated by hermits, hated by mysterious strangers and dogs. That's all fine. Um, we have pretty good rep with a lot of those except for maybe hermits but that's fine i would rather have some rep with the daughters of exile uh daughters of exile is now at 215 um we can get some more rep we could possibly make uh, daughters of exile a home for the slinth and i would like to get a ezra recoiler do we have anything else cool here masterwork uh kinda i like masterwork it's a nice one we have we should have tons of trade goods yeah we do we don't need to even trade all of that uh i'll trade this and we're actually already good all right and we're gonna eat some um goat leaf Goat in sweet leaf. Learn psychometry, and we're finally going to uh, go ahead and just put a peg in all of us. Nucus. What do you mean, Nucus? Excuse me? What do you mean, Nucus? This is an Ezra. <laughs> okay, all right. That's that's a little weird. We have sound effects for using psychometry. That's kind of cool. Uh, we will learn all of our grenades. Uh, and then we will learn our cells, namely the biodynamic cell. Chem cells, of course. Solar cells, yes. Lead cell, yes. And is there anything else? I don't think so. Anything on our person? Uh, like the hologram bracelet? Yeah. Or, um, guess like Chris? Yes. We can learn how to make a second one if we wanted to. Uh, that'll do it. Yeah, I don't know. I think that's pretty much good. Can we make ourselves another biodynamic cell? We cannot. We need nanomaterials. Those are pretty expensive, and uh, we won't get them for a while. So biodynamic cells are expensive for a reason. They're going to basically mean we never have to worry about power again, which is great. Um, 
I like our uh, buckler, I, our, our shield. I kind of want to go shields, but I also like the idea of going short blades. We are not a terrible agility build, but eh. It, we're mostly just an ego build. All right, um, that's about it. I don't think that there's anything. We we solved a lot of mysteries, and I guess we got some extra reputation. We we need to be on good terms with apes again if we want to make friends with Obarokoro. Uh, that much is for sure. For sure. Um, if you enjoyed this episode, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. Uh, thank you very much to the subscribers of the uh, coffee and the supporters of this channel. Really appreciate you. And if you are interested, there is a Discord server now where you can meet other like-minded simples and uh, also get notified when I upload videos and also go live on YouTube. I mean, you can turn notifications off and just kind of hang out, I don't know, and shove the Discord server in the folder where you keep all of the other uh, influencer Discord servers that you also don't check and, and just feel like... Uh, you know, awkward and, and never say anything on there like I do in like 90 other Discord servers. You could do that. Or you could just, you know, uh, do this, what we're doing and leave a comment below and I'll I'll maybe reply it. I will definitely read it for sure, but I, wh who can say as to whether I will reply to it? Uh, have a good day. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.